What up, what up, what up? This is your boy, Boogie Breeze, my co-host, Jay Messiah, my other co-host, Iza. We back outside. Let's do it for the second time. We are really back. What's going oh on, God. guys? Talk to me. Talk to me. How's everybody going? Yo. I'm doing that. Right, right, rather. <laughs> 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 yeah, you are funny. Yeah, yeah. I just be energetic, man. I'm ready to start the show. I'm hyped. We're back outside. Right. How we back outside and my life has been boring. Okay, Like, well, it's been boring. Like, I need help. I need... She needs help. I need help. Why? I, I need to go out. I need to live my life. Like, what's up? Fellas, come on. Get in her DMs, man. Show her a good time. Like, right? Is that... You know, <laughs> are you dating on, on online? Or what are you doing? Like... No, I mean... No, I'm not. I'm not dating online. Like, okay. I, I've tried it before, like a few years ago. Yeah, I didn't really like it. Like the, it was just like the options are so like. <sighs> okay, stay hell? out of her DMs. Stay out of her DMs. She'll just the find options. you on the street. <laughs> You know, I, I do have interest, but whatever. You do you have know, interest? Yeah, let's, yeah, whatever. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Jay Masai, what's good, my boy? Talk to me. How are you feeling? What's the word? What's the vibe? I mean, I'm feeling shitty, but. It ain't about me right now. It's about you and the show. So let's do it. Da, 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 da. Oh, we've been dressed in all black. We didn't plan this, but it just so how it come came together. Yeah. I guess because of the news that we heard with P and B Rock, RIP. We'll actually get to that on our social topic. But I mean, I think there's just been a lot of crazy shit that has happened overall. You know, him especially okay. included. Like it's just been a really really shitty thing but you know we're here we're together and okay. we're just gonna you know turn up we'll okay. try to at least we'll try to turn up so uh let's get right into it our social news we got some social news happening um i want to start with the bronx because that's where i'm from bx shout out to the bx uh shout out to cardi b she actually yeah. uh returned to her school is 232 in the morris heights neighborhood in the bronx and donated 100k to financially assist their art department make some noise for that man i mean that's what's up people are not people are not doing that i don't see these At rappers all, yeah. out here spending 100k Investing in our youth, which we really need to do that right at this exactly. And I feel like I, I, it's good that she does that because a lot of people be talking shit about her, like saying like, "Oh, she got my money," and all she does is like buy Birkins and buy this and like right. just waste her money. But it's like, yo, she does a lot for the people, and people just don't see that. Like That's she helps crazy. her family a lot, and like I'm, you know, right. like, I yep. respect that immensely. And like her doing this to her community, bringing back like she could have picked any fucking high school or any middle school, but she chose the school that. That she came from. That she came from, right from the so start, Ruffin and Rue. Um, she actually, I want to quote her because she actually said uh, on Access, uh, so I was trying to do this last year, but couldn't because of all the COVID rules at the time. This middle school, IS-232 in the Bronx, has a very special place in my heart. Uh, it turned me from an 11-year-old girl into a little teenage adult. Kids in the Bronx have to grow up quickly mm -hmm. to do um, due to our circumstances and our environment, yep. uh, while some young teens around 11 and 13 still live in that Disney world. These kids have to grow up quick and fast. So it is true. Uh, in the inner city, you know what I'm saying? These kids, are they're, they're, they're growing up fast. You know what I'm saying? And it's like... There's nobody there to teach them like that. There's nobody there to kind of hone them in and kind of, you know, protect exactly. them. So they got to they gotta think quick in these urban cities. So, I mean, I think what she's doing is great. I think she's the queen of uh, New York because... Of that, of things of, like that. Of things like that, right, exactly. Of things like that. And you I know, feel like a lot That of, makes her the queen. A lot of times they're always talking about like, you know, people of color always doing bad things and doing this and doing that. And it's right. kind of like, it's not that, it's not that it's like, we don't have the resources to do it. We don't have the funds to like be successful or to like get off the streets. Like the only thing that we know is like, you yeah. know, so that some people know is just to do things from the streets because we don't have nothing else. Like we don't have programs. We don't have after school programs. They took that all that away. Fund. Yeah, all they that took all of that gone. away. So her doing this is like, you know, an opportunity for kids to get off the streets. Shout I out think. to Cardi B one time for the one time. Um, so speaking about Queens, yeah, that's yeah, this is another downer, like you know, I know, being black uh, RIP to Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth, she she passed uh, uh, last week. Um, and it's crazy because, like, a lot of people have had, like, I don't know how to say, like, up and down, like, remarks about it because it's like people's uh -huh. like RIP the Queen, etc., etc., and then RIP, then people are just like, you know what, um, you, uh, you, you the, and Princess Diana are gonna be scrapping right, it up. They ride it for Diana because they still think that you know her, she has something to do with that. Yes, it is great. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know if she had anything to do with it. Like, I, I wasn't, I was too young to like remember or anything. Yeah, like, I don't yeah. know the story of it. But what I, what I just find it crazy is that 
she, you know, Prince uh, Charles, which is um, Elizabeth El- Elizabeth. Eldest, eldest son is uh-huh. gonna be king now. Okay, and he's married to Camilla, Camila, Camilla, which yeah. is technically his savage. That was a savage. So it's like, yes, because he Shout cheated. Side, he cheated Ooh. on Princess Diana with her, right? And she's but Princess Diana wasn't no um. No, she don't no uh, uh, innocent thing. Nah. Or so she had no, affairs no, 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 at her. No, no, no. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't okay. do it. Okay, well, whatever Princess Diana did, she did it out of like. Fuck this dude. He oh, doing yeah? me dirty, so I'm going to live my best life. You know what I mean? Kind of something like that. Allegedly. Allegedly. Okay. But it's just crazy. Side bitches is, is queens. You know? Side Shout bitches out to the side Side bitches that's, is winning. That's, the, that's winning, right. I, again, <laughs> hanging around with death right now. Uh, it's just sad that, you know, P&B rock, man. R.I.P. to that topic. I mean, there's just so much to yeah. talk about. Let's just dive in. Jay, you can start. Like... Are rappers cursed? Are East Coast rappers cursed? I mean, what's That's going what on? It feels like, man, it feels like anytime an East Coast rapper touched down to Cali, something yeah. unfortunate happens. It all started with Biggie, mm. even though they said it was an East Coast, West Coast thing. But it's like, damn, after Biggie, it was pop. After pop, it was P&B rock. P&B wasn't from New York. He was from Philly, mm-hmm. but that's still the East Coast, yeah. you know? And it's just weird. It's like, I was saying this earlier, I don't even feel like that. It's just so much... Like a young rapper die and no one even bats an eye no more. Yeah, you know it's like it's like every the two thing weeks. now. Every you know? two weeks, mm-hmm. and it's a rapper gone. It's only because, in my personal opinion, it's because of the music that's put out there now. Now it's not the fact that I'm getting older and people in the '90s that were older were saying this about hip hop music in general. It's literally true. You're listening to music where a dude is telling you. He's going to kill you, your family, how he's going to kill your family, how he doing it, and yeah. niggas is laughing. Yeah, yeah. I use Dusty Locaine as an example because his song literally starts off, I walk in the spot, 30 on me and some chops, all my niggas really rock, roll, control, yeah. shout my Leo, you know, shout out the yeah, game, you know how my niggas move, and I ain't moving, I'm shooting, and I'm, hey, it's crazy. And he's telling you how he's going to lift you up in front of your brother and everything, and like, it's just in general. So these little I don't want to use the word dumb, but these little dumb niggas, they hear this music and they get it programmed in their head and they feel like they got to be the next driller or the mm-hmm. next killer because mm. everyone that's doing this shit is mad young. The niggas yeah. that killed Pop Smoke was 15, 16. 15, yeah. Right. They're crazy. young and they're that's just crazy. attached and, and, and hypnotized behind this spell and they just don't realize that they don't... Because they don't give a fuck about their life, clearly. No. Like, they just don't. They don't. It's like something going on, like, in this generation. It's just like, they're, it's like ghost. Like, yeah. blind leading the blind. Um, it, And they also tried to say, like, you know, it's because his baby mother posted up uh, their location. But my thing is, I don't want to put too much blame on the no. baby mother. Because you never know. Somebody could have been, the staff member could have been yeah. in there to cook. Or somebody next to him like, could have been like, yo, man, look. Look who's in here. Yeah. Like, you see what's going on? So it's like. That could have been. But we really still, don't know. Yeah. That's still stupid. And people yeah. of that stature yeah. have to stop dropping their fucking locations. Yeah. That's, that's how Pop Absolutely. Smoke is no longer here. Yeah. Like, you got to really think of the, the sad details. You got to stop dropping your location. Like, if you really in the streets with some of them aren't, you yeah. would know you're not going to drop yeah. where you at in- instantly. You ri- And stop going to the hood. The yeah. hood don't love That's you. That's another it's thing. A, the hood don't love of, you. I feel like, I feel I feel bad for the girl. Like, I, I literally do because at the end of the day, that was her man. And that's the father of her child, you know? Right. And granted, we don't know. There were, there has been no backstory where they're like, oh, they had beef or anything. like, Or they, no, they were going no. through issues for, for people to say that she, she set, set him up. up. Like, right. why would you set up the love of your life or, like, your child's father? Right. I, don't I think do, that was, I do yeah. think that, you know, that situation that she posted, the location, it was it was not the best. It was careless. It was, it was it careless. Wasn't, it wasn't thrown it was, through. Like it, was, it was careless, but he also posted a, a story pre, uh, previously of him in the parking lot. So oh, like yeah? it showed, yeah, it showed that okay. he was in the parking lot, and then you know the LAPD, LAPD uh, mentioned that uh, definitely the the shooter probably looked at the, both of their stories and saw that and saw that put two and two together and saw yeah. that, you know. Uh, I, I'm, but I'm, it's just like it's not her fault. Like why would you go to the hood? I'm, with all th- of and this? this is why I'm upset with him as well because I'm heartbroken that he's passed yes. away. But I'm upset with him because 
I know people that know him, and he's a smart and intelligent yeah. individual. You are a rapper in 20, 20, 20 whatever, this this decade. You're a rapper in this decade. Bruh, you see what's going on out here. Why would, I've been to the Roscoe's uh, in the hood and in Hollywood out in L.A. I don't never want to go to that Roscoe's because I already know, like, it's just, it's always static over there. So it's yeah. like... Oh, what you like, change? Yeah, uh, and then just, the most uh, is like the most accessories like that. Yeah, that, that it's like has. what? Oh man, uh, I just, and it just it it's just heartbroken. Heart. And then he lives and behind then, a child, a, a two daughter. Two kids, yeah, two, two daughters. Kids. Oh, two. yeah. He he had a a, a daughter previously with uh, another girl. Yeah, so it's just it's just insane. Like I yeah. I don't know. I just wish people just would stop blaming her. Rappers move that, smarter. Just move smarter. But Rappers that's also smarter. still sad that you can't. Be happy with what you uh, earned and accomplished. That's yeah. right. Got so much Im- hate. But that's a story for another time. No, it's true. It's just like you you want to rob somebody else for what? Because you didn't. You weren't able to to uh, to reach his status or like right. to work he wasn't as hard as, as hard he, as he was working. Work as hard as he was. You know. Yeah. And just... he was a humble dude. And the thing is, is that like I feel like. He knew that people were targeting him because he had an interview with academics. Right, and he mentioned right. That. I saw that. He mentioned that. He, and yeah. That you know he was at like a twice. Spot. Right. It had happened like twice before Bro. that he, he was in a spot and somebody was like talking over him. He heard it was like loud, like yeah. basically trying to like do some yeah. shit. And he also did say that his girlfriend would be like, "No, you're you're just right." Doing too she much. was kind of. She was kind of like this. Like oh, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. But it's just like yo, yo. L.A. is the wild, wild west. New York is Jumanji. Like, let's be clear. Like, these cities, people are hungry. It's it's the recession. You know what I'm saying? No more PPPs. No more scamming stuff. No. And these kids out here, they just they music is in the influence, and then also just hunger and starvation, man. For no reason, yeah. But That's just let's sad. yeah, it's too dark. And let's just get off that subject. Uh. And a lighter note, let's do uh, some hot times with Jay Messiah. Can we get can we get some hot times, please? Uh, I think that's the next segment that we're about to actually get into right now. So let's uh, give our warm welcome for Jay Messiah with hot times, times with, with Jay, Jay Messiah. Messiah. Let's get it. All right, let's go. Ready? Yeah. It's blunt. Do you know the youngest picture of you is also the oldest picture of you? Ah, Good times with with Jay Jay Messiah. Messiah. That was a good one. I like that that one. That is a good one. I got something. I just think about that. Think about it. Think about it. I got another one. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. The youngest picture is the oldest. It's the oldest picture of you, right? All right. You ready? (laughs) Hits blunt. Thanks. If you could, if humans can see water, can fish see air? I don't get that. <laughs> you gotta break think about that down. It. You gotta think. Break when that you down, look at, like, you can see water, right? I get you it. can see you water. Can, I You're can assuming, like, uh, see, and you go inside the water, you still see water, right? You can right? see so, clearly the water, right? Right. Do you think fish can see air? Think about it. But wait, Just if the air, you can't see air. Shh. <laughs> but maybe maybe for maybe for fishes they can't see water? What? No, of course they can see I don't fucking know. Okay. I'm trying I'm trying to go off of what what Are you hot? Did you smoke a little no. bit before you get? No, no. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. You ready? This is the last one. His blunts. Thanks. If it costs eighty cents a day to feed a kid, then why is child support so much? Hot times, times with, with Jay Messiah. What the fuck? I get, I get it. Cause hey. over overseas hey. in these third world countries, twenty five. All these commercials, ten cents a day. Keep a child not being hungry. Oh but in God. the United States, child support is an arm and a leg or jail time. Just that's saying. crazy. Ooh. Just saying. Okay. Speaking of child support, like, what? How do you guys feel about that? Like, I mean, I don't have any kids, so like, I can't even. But like child support, it should be according to uh, the income of a man. I, I guess I, 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 is that no how they still comment. do it? I don't know. No comment. Oh. I mean, I guess he, I guess you guys. I guess because you guys are males, you guys would probably be like, "Oh, child support." Blah. But like me personally, like if I was to have a kid yeah. and the father doesn't want to be involved, yeah, like 
Bye. Like, really? You, I feel you, like you, I wouldn't okay, ask so for you, child support. Like, I'm just you like, wouldn't ask? You're no. Okay. You're like, a good woman. My thing Shout is for what? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I'm just, for what? Like, you don't want to be part of your child's life? Yeah. By all means, please do me the favor I guess and, and release some stress. Well, I guess because the, 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 the mother, she needs assistance. And okay, but what? It, didn't, it, didn't, it took two to tangle, and it's like, yo, you got to go half on the baby. Like, you know. I, I get it. It takes two to tangle. But, like, I feel like me personally, I would be, I'd rather be stress-free. Okay. Like having and certain mothers are like being, that. They yeah, have like, that mindset. I rather be stress free. Like, like at the end of the day, it's your loss. You don't want to be in your child's life. That is your loss. Like Ooh. I would save. My, I would. I would take care of my job by myself. Like if I was in the position that I can't afford it, like I'll figure it out. Like okay, it's you, but. And that's what she would do. So we're going to actually segue into what would Isa do where okay. we are in our DMs. Please DM us at Social Famous Podcast to uh, send us your synopsis of your uh, of a of a question. And Isa will tell you exactly what she would do in that situation. So we do have two, right? Okay. So let's go to the one. Everybody always want to be anonymous. So we're just going to keep this thing anonymous until people actually want to Because people, like, people probably themselves. embarrassed. Let's see. Let's yeah. See what the fuck. Okay. So here goes one. Let's go. Here we go. Let's see. Hey, Issa. Um, so I had a question. I've kind of been dating this guy for about a year, um, and he lives overseas. So finally, he came to visit me, and, you know, I was excited and all, but I don't know. He didn't take me out to eat. We didn't have a proper date. Like, you know, it wasn't really what I expected. We, we kind of just went to the park and, and sat down and talked. I don't know. Do you think he's broke? Like, what is it? I need to know because I can't ask him, like, yo, are you broke? So what do you suggest? Ooh. I'm mad that she thought broke was the first thing that came out his out of her mind. Like, like I'm not money. thinking about my man he's being broke. He's overseas. You are in a long distance. Basically, you guys are in a long distance relationship. Okay. He comes over and you guys don't do nothing. I just go to the park. I'm not thinking about wh- whether he's broke or not. I'm thinking about, like, is he... Like she well, what are we doing? She 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 wants to be wind and done, I guess. Before she, you know, I don't know. <laughs> no, so, like I'm, I don't know. I don't know if he's broke or not. I just feel like he's just not that interested. He's not interested in general. Okay, so you like think that I, I don't even think it's like the like the broke. Uh, I don't know. Like it, to me, I'm not thinking about like oh whether he's broken. I'm just thinking like you just dead ass came all the way from. Wherever the fuck you was at, uh-huh. you clearly have money to to fly over here or yep. something, and you can't even take me out. Like you do not care about me. That's what it is. So what would you do in this situation? I would leave his ass in the streets. Uh-huh. She would leave him. I would. I would. I would say uh, I'll be right back. Lock the door and won't come back. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's that's unacceptable. That's why I don't do. I don't well, do th- but then, but then you're actually actually agreeing that he's broke. Like you ain't I, messing with him. I mean, so he I'm, could be broke, but I don't <laughs> think he has money. If he had money to fly over to your house or like to take transportation, so he, 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 he got of, some sort of funds. Okay, you know, so, so okay, some sort of funds. Like in my mind, I'm not thinking about whether he's broke or not. I'm just thinking about. I don't think he he cares about you that much to like. You even, guys didn't do anything. Okay. Oh, well, that's she what just she said. Would do. She she just said he, he just he didn't even take me out anything. He just took me to the park. Yeah, like you know, uh, that sucks. That's why. Yeah, get rid of him. Get it. He's out of here. <laughs> Bye. Listen. Okay, so we have another one, right? Uh, another anonymous. Uh, let's let's hear it. Let's hear it. I'm in a situation with a man who has outside obligations. We'll say <laughs> um, it's no secret. I'm aware. Um, we both have situations when we get together. We have fun. Um, we laugh, we talk, we're friends, but it seems like if he feels like his feelings are getting too deep or tangled up, then he pulls away from me or he ghosts me. Why is that? Or oh, he ghosts you. Ooh. Hold Ooh, on. That's... She said she said that he has outside ob- obligations. They both got situations. So, I'm so hearing, basically. And then they get together to do their thing. <clears throat> but then I guess he... If he feels like he's getting too close or attached, he pulls away. Yeah. So what would she do? What I mean, honey, clearly he's dealing with other people. You come second. You Ooh. come. You come second. Like you, you're not a priority to him. So like, if he feels like he's getting in too deep, he has to pull away because he got he got maybe he got wifey. He probably got kids. Right. He got a family. Like, <laughs> I okay. just feel like you should, you know, know your place. Like, okay. I 
I don't know why you would be fucking with somebody who has outside obligations, but at the end of the day, I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to tell you, you know your place. Mm. You know what you signed up for. If he is pulling away, you do the same. If you just want to fuck him, just fuck him, but don't set no expectations because he's not your man. And that's what we're easy to do, man. You got a question, man. You got to <laughs> send us a DM, man. She's going to tell you. She's going to keep it real. All the way real. Oh, but um, let's, uh, what are we doing now? What are we, where are we at now? I think we are at the, what? uh, what, uh, WTF. Why are they famous? Yes. Can we, can we please pull up some videos as to why are these people going viral? Okay. Um, <laughs> do you want to start? Do you want to start with this, uh, this lady on the bus? Oh no! So yeah, she's out of control. So this is my thing. Right? She has to be an addict. She must be something. I don't even want to say that, but I. Whoa. So so this is my thing. She's I out have, of line. I have like this thing. Like I don't like. Ugh. Describe what she's doing, please. To, to well, okay. Uh, so first I mean, of all, she is. They're shav- gonna see it right now. She's she's shaving her coochie in a motherfucking buzz in yeah. public in front of people. You know. Uh-huh. She had. She's obviously. Uh. I mean, he or she, because this day and age, who, who knows? But looks like they shoot. have to be be fucking crazy. Like, yeah. who the fuck does that and think that it's okay? I wish they would have showed the whole video so I can see like what was their reaction afterwards. Why would you do this in a public place? This is really bothering. <laughs> it would bother everybody on the. I, I, it would if, bother If I was me. there, I'd be like, "Yo, bro, or oh, sis, <laughs> yo, chill out. You are wilding. Like, you can really get off the bus and do this. Like, what's wrong with you?" She's like, out of cr- she's out of line. I think she was pro- she probably had a dick appointment or something. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> she had a and on a bus doing that. She had to. Uh, you got it. The, that's that's the only thing that explains it. Shit look like it's a skit. I ain't gonna lie to you. She still got the cap on the razor. Did anyone even <laughs> notice that? Oh wait, I didn't the see that. The thing uh-huh. people do for clout. Where? Nah, really. Look at the razor. It, the shit is there's no cream or nothing on that shit. It still has the cap on it. I mean. I don't know. I can't really tell. Look, How do you know he got a cap? Look at the razor. It has no cap. Literally, there's no... There's a top on it. There's no... It's not bare. She's literally not doing nothing but just pretending to shave herself. That's why you don't Maybe. see no hair, no nothing. Well, um, oh, it could be a skit. It could be, but, I mean, it went viral. So that's I why I, I guess... I don't know. That's not, that's not no? something that I... We can't tell. People be doing the most. Like, what's the next video? Talk, talk, talk. What's the next video? Talk to us about the next video. Introducing Grandma Glizzy, the greatest. <laughs> okay. So this grandmother is particular. Oh nah, bar. that's OD. She's at a bar. <laughs> okay. And she has this big Glizzy, which is a sausage. <laughs> Pause. Uh, and she can really make it disappear. If you're really looking at it, this grandma is out of line. (laughs) What do you think about this? Talk to me about this. What's going on here? I want to know how she does that. Asking for a friend. She smiled, too, after (laughs) she... Look, she she did that. Oh. Wow. She must have had a crazy-ass youth. Okay. Shout out to the grandma Glizzy, the greatest. Please, like... Mm -hmm. Nah, that's OD. Grandma, are you out there? What you doing out there, Grandma? Would you nah. would you would you ever uh, well, not even, but w- would you ever um link up with a grandma like that if she knew what she was doing with the glizzy? James I. You asking me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. The fuck she <laughs> like a demon. That bitch just swallowed a whole twelve inch glizzy. You gonna what? That bitch just swallowed a whole twelve inch glizzy, like literally, and just put it back out too. I can't stop looking at the video. That is insane. Oh, no, 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 no. Which no, no. no gag I reflex. think she got more skills than the youth. <laughs> Grandma got it. Grandma got it, okay? And the fact that she smiled. She's and she's demon. been having it since the 60s. It the looks fucking like. The 40s. Right. She got it. She was helping niggas escape the underground railroad. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Shout out to Grandma. Oh my god! I'm getting this is getting way too X-rated. That is that's that's a lot. I'm tr- I'm trying to I'm looking at the video because I'm trying to see like, damn I I can't I won't be able to do this. Uh, on that note, it. listen, we <laughs> I think we're about rap, man. Like we are out of here. We're dressed in all black. This is social famous. We gotta go. Peace. We see you later. Till next time.
Love, love, love. J Messiah, Iza, Boogie Breeze, we outside again. Till next time. We outside.